Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Aries Sky here with another edition of Living Simply Fun. I'm hoping Aaron and I get our video in together before leaving. I don't think it'll happen. I don't think the applications will happen either tonight. But anyways, here's what's going to happen. Tonight, someone asked me, since we were doing books on fishing, fly fishing, fly fishing for sea run, cutthroat, more fly fishing, fly fishing books here, getting this list knocked down for fly fishing, the best fly fishing books around. Someone asked me about fly fishing weights on fly rods. Now most fly rods are 9 foot. We're going to tack that on there, 9 foot. There is 5 foot fly rods for small dinky creeks on up to 15 foot fly rods that are spay rods, two handed. Now we're going to do the basic talk about weights today. I'm not going to go into details on lengths. Now if you want lengths, you can always look up the traditional Cabela's here. For example, Cabela's, this one here, talks about fly rods, mostly the basic weights, etc. Now, I was going through a weights the other day, uh, not weights, lengths. Some of them are salt water, some are fresh water. Someone asked me, can you explain to me the difference in the weights? What you can catch with the weights? Yes, now if you have some time, I'll explain. This one, oh no. Uh, that's not what we were looking for. This, these are the brand names that comes out. Um, uh, no, no, no. Hold on a sec. Uh, is this it? Here it is. Fly weights, fly lines from six weights. They call them uh, tight quarter rods. Five foot to seven six foot weights. From two to five weights. There's 5.9 to 7.6, which is 3 to 5 weights here. Now, most people fly a fish with the 5 to 6 weight for all purpose. Now, let me give it to you this way. Two, uh, 0 to 2 weight are for very small fish up to 10 inches. That means maybe you can get up to a 2-pound fish, maybe if it's 10 inches. Three weights are for smaller fish up to, say, 15 inches if you're lucky. Four weights are great for uh, six to eight uh, dry flies. Uh, five weight is the standard trout rod for uh, nymph fishing and excels out of drift boats and large stone flies, hoppers, nymphs, streamers, uh, you name it. Uh, six weights are good for nymphs and streamings and some dry fly applications toward, you know, uh, stouter fish. Mostly for steelhead, smaller steelhead, uh, and very large trout like brown trout and brook trout and uh, Dolly Varden in Alaska. Seven weights are again for uh, more uh, dry fly, stone fly, and streamers for large trout with sinking lines in uh, steelhead. We're talking small to medium steelheads. Eight weights are good for. Uh, Large steelhead and small, small salmon, pink sockeye and cohos, maybe up to 10 to 12 pounds. Nine weights are good for large steelhead, tight quarters of larger fish. They're also good for small chum or chinook salmons. Ten weights are for uh, large, large, extra large steelhead, medium chums and chinooks. So... Uh, you can also use your basic for uh, bass could be uh, five, six, seven, eights, and nines, and possibly tens. Panfish is three, four, five, and six. Salt water you're looking at uh, nine and tens for use for permit. Ten, eleven, and twelves are for dorados and tarpans. Twelve, thirteen, and fourteens are used for billfish. Fifteen and sixteens are used for marlins. There you have it, or sharks. Anything higher than 16, you better ask Orvis what to do because, frankly, they don't make anything higher than a 16 weight. Now, for most people, I will break down the fly rods in order. Give me one second for you all. Some of you, this is some of my notes right here coming out of the Orvis Fly Fishing Guide. I borrowed it from the library. I'd like to get a copy. 
I'm hoping to get a copy, but at 10 bucks, I don't know. All right, four species. Trout with small flies and small streams. You're going to need um, line weight of one. Uh, one to two. Uh, trout in small to medium lines, you're looking at two to three for line weight. Trout in big ri uh, rivers and lakes, you're looking at four to five. Five preferably. You can get away with a four, but you're fighting the fish. Freshwater bass and pike, you're looking at six to eight. Anyways, it goes down the list. If you look at this, this goes all the way up to 14, which is tuna sail fish and marlin. So if you look at it this way, you're looking at 13 and 14 for, uh, for that. Uh, striped, striped, um, Bass, bluefish, and false albacore, you're looking at at least 8 to 14, but in between. Now, if you look at the guide here, it'll tell you the species. Mostly I'm for fresh water, so I'm not going to go up to anything past a salmon. So, Pacific salmon or Atlantic salmon. I'm not going for bonefish, permit, tarpon, sharks, barracuda, striped bass, bluefish, false albacore, tuna, sailfish, and marlins, or... or um, or billfish. Therefore, the, in my opinion, this guide here helps the most. So, that said, I'm for freshwater. For fishing, I will go up to an 8 weight. 8 to 10. Most of the times I will be talking. Now, a lot of you have asked, uh, a few fly fishers asked me to look into some fly fishing books, talking about the different weights and what I would recommend for fishing. I'm still working on it. I know Angela would like some help on it too, so I might as well talk to you all about uh, all about uh, fishing. You know, Cabela's Bass Pro. I'll be looking at Bass Pro Cabela's, some of the major players of fishing: Sage, uh, Scotts, Thomas, uh, Thomas, etc. But you gotta also ask what you're fishing for, and if you find the right one, and you also gotta look into other things. I will break it down eventually for fly fishing. Uh, what? you got to look for. Ho, ho, heck, if you really want some help on it, I will ask Brother Aaron to help me out in the next few days, break down the pros and cons to fly fishing, how to choose your right fly reels, how to choose your fly rod, everything, so you can be good. Even if I'm a beginner, I can help you out because I'm becoming, well, somewhat of an expert. Yes, so that said this is all about fly weights all right sorry i went a little over please look for more videos of fly fishing here on living simply fun i'm your host aries uh please add subscribe if you like please post comments in the box please add us a friend please subscribe please post comments and suggestions and feedback thank you and may god bless the world